One of the problems this design team and this owner was up against is the geographic location. I mean, look at where we're at. This is the highest wind category you can possibly put on a project in our area. We're up against incredible design loads, such as shear loads, lateral wind loads, axial load of the building, all that stuff coming together. The problem was that while it was designed with wood construction, immediately I think the construction manager and the design team knew that that wasn't the best way. Like many projects, uh, the team came to us early. They asked us, what could we do if we switched it over to cold form steel? How could we improve the project? What could we do to make things better? I think they were very surprised in what we were able to do for them. So when Agent uh, became aware of this job and they decided they wanted to present the option of flipping it from wood to steel, they reached out to us and asked us to help them with a design assist, which we are happy to provide. One of the main drivers for switching this project from wood to cold form steel was being able to have larger room sizes and longer spans. And obviously this is a great thing for the consumer, but it brings uh, several engineering challenges. And that's where TSN stepped in and, and provided some ideas for how to get the lateral capacity that was needed in this project given the new constraints of the project. We kind of put our thinking caps on and said, you know what, because cold form steel has such higher capacity, particularly some of the members made by Steel Network, we said, hey, why don't we switch it to your corridor walls and your exterior walls. If we switch the bearing walls to that, you can have a free span unit where literally from end wall to end wall, perhaps up to 60 feet, you can have an open floor plan. And these people coming in buying these high-end luxury condos can choose their own floor plan. They want to make their closet bigger, they want to make their bathroom bigger, they want a bigger bedroom, make this smaller, move the kitchen over here. They can do anything they want. Over the course of a couple weeks, we took a good look at the structural drawings, at the architectural drawings, and then we put together a package that we were able to deliver to them that had everything from loads on every floor on every wall type to detailed drawings that they could eventually incorporate into their shops. And we delivered this packet to them so that they were able to put in a successful bid and then they ended up winning the project partly as a result of that. The design team had about three months to do everything to get it together so we could start construction and we've been off to the races ever since and that switchover has been hugely aided by the Steel Network and their ability to provide members to help with little engineering conflicts that come up along the way. Because we started in the right place, because the Steel Network's design assist, we were able to be successful in getting construction started.